If you wonder how to crop an image in Illustrator, you need to know that there are a couple of ways to get around it depending on your needs. Do you want to crop a photo or a vector graphic? Do you want to crop it visually only without cutting anything or remove the trimmed parts forever? You can use various methods depending on these preferences. My name is Monika Zagrobelna and this is how to crop in Illustrator on Envato Tatstas. Whether you want to crop your image destructively or non-destructively, it's good to plan the cropping area first without changing anything. You can use the artboard for this purpose. Just use the artboard tool to resize the artboard area and create visible boundaries. You can then adjust any cropping to this area. This method is the easiest way to crop a raster picture, but it's only available in the CC version of Illustrator. Open your image and select it with the selection tool. Then move to the upper bar and select Crop Image. You'll get informed that your original photo will not be affected by the cropping, which is cool. Dismiss the message and drag the anchors to crop your image. Press Enter when you're done. This method is destructive, which means the cropped area can't be revealed back if you change your mind. You can also use this method to crop a vector image. The trick is to embed it as a new file rather than try to crop the original. To do it, create a new file and go to File, Place or simply drag the image into the artboard. Illustrator will let you crop it without any problems. If you don't have the CC version of Illustrator, you can use a different method. Select the image the same way and in the upper bar select Mask. Now drag the anchors to trim the image. The effect is pretty similar to the previous method, except here it's non-destructive. The trimmed parts are still there, they're just hidden. To bring them back, go to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. You can easily crop any image, raster or vector by exporting the picture to the raster version. Go to File, Export, Export as and select a raster format like PNG. Check the Use Artboards option. Now only the part of the image within the artboard area will be saved as a new file and the original file will stay unaffected. If you want to crop a vector image in Illustrator, you can use a more universal tool. First, take the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the picture. Adjust the size of this rectangle to the intended cropping area. Fill the rectangle with any color. Now select all the objects and go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make or simply use a shortcut Ctrl7. This is a non-destructive method, so the cut parts are still there and can be edited at any time. You can also remove the clipping mask by going to Object, Clipping Mask, Release. You can achieve an identical effect by using the Opacity Mask. As previously, create the masking rectangle and select All, then go to the Transparency panel and select Make Mask. You can also easily release the mask in this panel. If you want to crop something simple, like a single shape, you can also use the Illustrator Crop tool hidden in the Pathfinder panel. First, use the Rectangle tool to draw the cropped area. Go to Window, Pathfinder. Select both objects and click Crop. The parts outside of the rectangle will be cut destructively. You may be tempted to use this method to crop more complex images too, but it's not recommended you're likely to end up with tiny artifacts that ruin the quality of the picture. Finally, I'll show you how to crop a vector image destructively. Take the Eraser tool and hold Alt key. Now click and drag to create a rectangular selection that will cut parts of the image. With this method, you can be sure that the cropped area disappears forever. Now you know how to crop an image in Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And thanks for watching.